You might want to block with you for today's practice. Um, those are just always helpful, right, when we do the things. All right, so welcome to Warrior Wednesday. We're going to start in Mountain Pose, and I'm going to invite you to take a little different stance today. We're going to bring our big toes to touch and slightly separate the heels. Just maybe an inch between your ankle bones. So kind of look down and you're gonna have a more narrow stance. But with this narrow stance, I'd like you to just spread your toes, press down through your feet, hug your inner thighs together and lift the pelvic floor. So we're starting right away with a strong standing posture. If we bring our hands together here at heart center, elbows a little wider. This pose is called Samastiti, which means equal standing. So equal weight left and right, equal attention upper and lower, and equal attention outer and inner. So since we have a little more narrow base, it might feel a little more wobbly or unstable. So you can keep your eyes open during this first meditation piece. But if you're keeping your eyes open, soften your gaze. So look down in front of you at a point that's not moving. And then take some big cleansing breaths. Deepen, deepen the inhale, clear to your belly. And exhale with a sigh. Big breath in, out, and one more time. And then with lips closed, continue a slow, even breath. Imagine pulling breath from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head and breathing out so that that same wave rolls down your body, head to feet. Acknowledge yourself for showing up today, for making time for yourself, for setting aside this time for self-care and self-love and body acknowledgement. We're gonna reach the arms high on the next inhale and then close the hands together back to the heart. So take a few breaths here. As you continue to stand in this strong mountain pose that's actually the foundation for all of our standing poses. Every standing pose is just a variation of this with the arms and legs moving in a different way. So continue moving with your breath. And then let's step our feet out wide. You can turn to the side of your mat if you want a little bit more room. Turn your toes out, bend your knees and come into goddess pose or some people call this moon squat. Again, lift your toes and then press down through your whole feet, just feeling the strength and stability underneath you. We're gonna flow with our breath here. So we'll inhale into a five-pointed star, exhale back into that squat. You can start to find an ujjayi breath here. That's the whisper sound in the back of your throat. I'm just inviting these movements to be an act of self-love, taking care of this vessel that we live in. And we'll start to change the movement into sunflowers. So now bending the knees, hinging from the hips. Starting to be sunflower season. So you might bring to mind a big, bright, beautiful sunflower reaching for the sky. Just this rhythm of equal breath. Reach out to that five-pointed star. 
deep breath in and then hands to heart, come back to standing mountain pose. This time with your feet a little bit separated, arms at the sides. I'm gonna continue this warming up, inhale chair pose and just exhale back to mountain. Inhale chair, exhale mountain. Finding a pace that works perfectly with your breath. A little bit of a hinge at the hip. And then standing, let's reach the arms high. Exhale, swan dive, hinge from the hips, forward fold. So moving like this. Inhale up, exhale fold. What an amazing miracle this body is in all the ways it can move. And the next time we come down, we're pausing in forward folds. Let's soften the knees, let the hands be wherever they want to be. Take a moment to be in this pose of surrender. Let's start to step our feet backwards into downward facing dog. Taking some time here to pedal the heels. Come all the way up onto your toes and down into those heels. Move through your shoulders. See if you can feel the pressure in the front of your palm more than the wrist. So press into those knuckles a little bit more and lighten up the wrist. And then let's inhale to tabletop, open the knees, touch the toes and press back into child's pose. Exhale, let your forehead come close to the earth. A few more of those cleansing breaths. We came here to heal to listen, to send a love letter to our bodies. When you're ready, come on up to tabletop position and we'll move our spine now through cat and cow. So again, matching that movement with breath. Inhale, pulling the sternum forward. Exhale, tucking the tailbone. And coming into that neutral spine, we're moving into spinal balance. So let's begin by lifting the left hand just one inch off the mat and then also the right knee. Notice how that creates core strength to begin with, and then move out from that slowly. Take a deep breath in, the length of fingers and toes, and then slowly replace. Inhale one inch, hand and knee, come from the core, extend outward, deep breath in, and exhale back to center. Moving with your breath. Always start with that one inch set up and then extend. You're welcome to move a little bit faster if you want to build a little bit more heat, slower, if you like it more gentle. When you've completed that again, press back into child's pose, stretch your arms even farther away from you this time. Stretch through the armpits, the lats, the chest. Coming up again to tabletop. Extend one leg back. You choose which one, and then open up into a kneeling side plank. Just reach those fingers up so you can feel that nice strength in your waist. Let's move a couple of times through gate pose or gate flow. 
It's warming up sideways now. Stretching those ribs open. We're gonna get just a little bit more vigorous now, starting to build some internal heat. So reach up and over one more time, and then windmill the hands to the ground. Bring yourself into a kneeling plank. We're gonna do some yogi push-ups. It's no one's birthday, so we don't have to do a lot, but we're just gonna lower halfway down. If you'd like to train yourself to stop halfway down, this is a great trick. Bring your block on its middle side and stop as soon as you feel your belly or your ribs or your chest touching that block and then you just come right back up. Let's do three more yogi push-ups. Keeping the shoulders hugged in nice and tight into the shoulder joint. And then back to child's pose. Let's move into side plank on the other side. So just kicking one foot backward, opposite arm reaches. And moving with breath. See if you can keep that rhythm of ujjayi breath going. One more time up and over, and then windmill the hands to the earth, come to tabletop, and we'll return to downward facing dog. This is our second time here. Let's see if things are warmer, looser, more ready. Bringing our feet to our hands, let's meet again in a forward fold. Nod your head yes, shake your head no. Plug into your own two footprints. And let's lengthen the spine, sweep the arms high. And bring your hands back to heart center. Come again to Samastiti, big toes touch, heels slightly apart, arm with breath. Lift and pull into the heart. See if you can reach your arms back a little farther. As you continue these flowing breaths, I'm going to read you a short poem that I think really speaks to what we're doing here. I stand tall, body full and present in all of its beauty. I open my arms wide to bring all of life into my being. As I move and bend, my heart stays open to the world. I am restored and nourished. I feel my breath, my bones, my flesh. I am whole, I am complete. Your hands to heart center and pause. I am whole. I am complete. All right, we're gonna take a few rounds of sun salutations today. Of course we are. Rise high, everybody. Deep breath in, bow low. Inhale, lift halfway and step back, downward facing dog. Shifting forward, let's all drop our knees, spiral the elbows forward, and then shift even more forward to lower halfway down, as if that block were still here. Thighs lower, belly lowers, chest, and roll into cobra. In cobra, can you bring your big toes to touch again, just like we did in standing? Lift your kneecaps off the floor, pull your chest a little higher. And then release, pressing back, downward facing dog. 
dropping the heels, lifting, moving. Eyes forward, step or hop feet to hands, lift halfway, and a big sigh, forward fold. Sweep the arms wide, heart open, and bring hands to heart. Let's go again, just like that, reach high. Mm, bow low. Lift halfway and step back. As we come forward, plank pose, you can drop your knees, thin the elbows and lower. And then find again, a strong Bhujangasana Cobra pose. Release and press back to downward facing dog. Equal and even breath. Looking forward, feet to hands, lift halfway, and a sigh as we lower. <sighs> Sweep the arms up and come back to heart. So beautiful, friends. Let's go again. Rise up. Bow low. Lift halfway and step back, downward facing dog. As we come forward, you can drop your knees or I'm going to stay on my toes this time to demonstrate float. Float forward onto your toes. Flex the elbows halfway down and then flip to the tops of your feet and pull to upward facing dog. Float, flex, flip. And step back, down dog. Everybody breathe. Eyes forward, feet to hands, lift halfway. A sigh as we exhale. Reaching up and hands to heart. Last time through, Sun A, you get to choose knees or toes. Reach up, bow low. Lift halfway and step back, downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa, knees or toes. Let's meet in down dog for three full breaths. And then feet to hands, lift halfway, sigh as you fold, reach out and up. Mm, hands to heart. Pause here, everybody. Notice heat. Notice breath. Samastiti. Big toes touch, heels slightly apart. Arm movements. Lift out and up. Pull into your heart. I stand tall. Whole and complete. Beautiful, everyone. Pause. Let your arms fly open wide. Turn the palms down, reach behind and interlace. And if that doesn't feel good, um, grab a strap. Take a deep breath in. You can separate your feet a little and then let's hinge forward. We're gonna pause here for a few breaths and chest expansion, forward fold. Notice where you feel this breath, maybe where you don't. Find an edge in this pose. So press down through your feet, lift your tailbone, raise your knuckles a little bit higher and head drops lower. Where is an edge in this pose? And then release your knees, release your hands, sweep the arms up, 
and bow forward. We're gonna do that a few times, kind of shaking off that fold, lift up, bow low. Let your breath be loud, audible exhales. Uh, one more time. And good, beautiful, everyone. Hold the fold and step back, downward facing dog. You have the option to take a vinyasa or stay where you are, your choice. And then we're coming forward into plank pose, <clears throat> moving into side plank vashisthasana. So option one is to drop a knee and just do what we did before. Option two is to extend your legs and your feet can be staggered or stacked. Find that core strength from the side of your waist and breathe, <clears throat> breathe. <laughs> Come back to plank and we'll just switch sides so the knee can drop as you open or you can stagger or stack your feet. Find those breaths, body full and present in all of its beauty. This is actually Samastiti on its side. Come back, downward facing dog. Woo, everybody warm? <laughs> okay, let's raise the right leg up. Wiggle your toes, circle your ankle. Stepping through, let's drop the back heel. Okay, I'm out of breath. Off we come, <laughs> warrior one. Take a moment to establish your foundation. Root down through the feet equally. And since this class is a lot of flow, we're going to flow our warrior. So on your inhale, the thumbs press back to a comfortable edge. On an exhale, hinge from the hips while your arms fly backwards. And I'd like you to move slowly enough that you can find the end range of motion in both directions without any pain. Where are you noticing breath and where are you not? This breath making its way through the whole body. This next time the hands come down to the ground, stepping back downward facing dog, raise your left leg, give some life to your foot. And then stepping through, <clears throat> drop the heel, come on up, warrior one. Let's find that foundation, find the edge, and then flow. What's the greatest range of motion in this circle with your thumbs, with your fingers that your body can make? Imagine completing a circle around you. You have that ujjayi breath. I open my arms wide to bring all of life into my being. One more time up. And as we lower the hands, step back downward facing dog. Always an option to take a vinyasa. If you came for a little more work, that's where you can slide it in. And let's find another flow. Right leg lifts, step through, and drop the heel. So we'll flow here with an inhale into warrior one, open into warrior two. Inhale, reverse, and exhale, warrior two. Lather, rinse, repeat. Inhale, warrior one. 
Kill open, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Beautiful, everybody, warrior two, and keep going. Deepening into the hips, using our core, We're creating space in our body. As you're doing this, relax your jaw and your face. Find a softness here. Big deep breath in the next time you reverse and then windmill down dog to switch sides. Left leg lifts and steps through. Plant the feet and let's go. Inhale, warrior one. Take your time, open two, reverse, back to two. Just moving with your breath. There's something to learn here in your body. As I move and bend, my heart stays open to the world. All of it, right? The light and the shadow, my heart stays open to all of it. There's a lesson to learn in every moment. How can we stay open right here in these poses to the world as we know it in this moment? Big breath in and then windmill the hands to the ground, downward facing dog. Another option to take a vinyasa or just hang out. <sighs> Let's raise the right leg and step through. So this time we're gonna drop the back heel, bring the right hand inside the right foot. It's a great place to have a block. Bring the ground a little closer to your hand. And then the left arm reaches up and over the ear. Uttita Parsvottanasana, extended side angle. Press into your back foot, reach out through your fingers, drop your hips. If this doesn't feel great to your body, come up a little higher onto your thigh. Everybody breathe, everybody reach. Ah. Let the fingertips reach for the ceiling, straighten that right leg and come into Trikonasana, triangle pose. You can use the block or not. Deep, full and slow breaths. One more inhale, lift even taller through those fingers. Good, lower the hand, walk yourself into a wide straddle. Forward fold. Long exhale. You can be here however you like. Coming back toward our right foot, taking a nice low lunge. And then we'll step back, downward facing dog. Option to take vinyasa, always. And when you're ready, the left leg lifts and steps. So we'll come into that side angle pose again, using a block if you like. Hand on the ground or the block. Turn the right arm lifts overhead. Like extended, take it way up over the ears. Let the hips drop your body, making a nice slippery slide. Fill up, empty out. Awesome. 
Awesome, moving into Trikonasana, triangle pose, fingers up, straighten your left leg. Try to roll your rib cage open and then lift. Really light in that bottom hand, wherever it is. Lowering the hands. Let's come to that wide straddle once again. And you can be anywhere you want to be here. Moving or still. Just stay connected to breath. Let's turn toward our left foot, find a nice low lunge. And this time we'll bring the back foot to meet the front foot, come into a forward fold. Lifting halfway, reach the arms high, extended mountain. Bring the big toes to touch, separate the heels slightly, and now we'll interlace our fingers. So we're gonna put a lot of length in our body. Reach for the sky. I stand tall, body full and present in all of its beauty. Lift and lengthen. Maybe find a little back bend, heart lifts, shoulders squeeze together. Good, stay tall through the body, bring the hands to the crease of the hips. Right foot stays where it is, left foot steps back. Let's hinge forward into pyramid pose. And we'll take a moment to hang out with our right hamstring. I am restored and nourished. I feel my breath, my bones, my flesh. I am whole, I am complete. Let's play with a balancing pose here, friends. Lift to a flat back. If you have your block handy, you can hold the block out in front of your mat. I'm gonna lift into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Fingers to the sky. The back foot is making a sideways footprint on the wall. Find your breath. If you're wobbling and falling, that's awesome. Just laugh and start over. Yoga is not, it's yoga practice, right? Not a yoga perfect. Take one more deep breath here. The hand comes to the hip, the hips square and we'll forward fold. Let your big toes touch, let your heels be separate, soft knees, rise up, extended mountain, interlace your fingers. And again, find that height, find that length. And then the hands come to the crease of the hips, step your right foot back, pyramid stance. It's pretty narrow, shifting forward from the hips. Let's find the left hamstring. Bring your left hip, left thumb to your left hip crease and press back. See if that gives you a little bit more, I don't know, smile in your hamstrings. Maybe it was a squeal or a scream, but sensation. The forehead reaches for the shin. And then finding our way into half moon. If you'd like to use your block, bring it with you. The back leg lifts and we peel the hips open. Keeping the eyes looking down is easier. Turning the eyes up creates a little challenge. So choose. The 
And the hand comes to the hip, the hip square, the leg lowers, and we fold. Let's sweep the arms high, extended mountain. Again, Kamaskiti, find those big toes together, feel slightly apart, lift. How tall can you be here? Gonna enter tree pose from here. I'd like you to keep your branches tall. Keep this nice straight line up. Let your left heel come off the floor and pivot that hip open. So let's all start with this little ankle tree, keeping that hip hugged in. Straight line. Sama CTE on one leg. You can stay here or slide that foot to your calf. And if you can get it to the inner thigh without holding it, go for it. What we want to do is avoid that knee. So most of us will stay right here, lifting tall, breathing deeply. I stand tall. Open the hands wide and extend the leg out. We're going to tilt, fallen star. And wobbly and come back, Samas DTE, toes touch. Regroup, find your breath. You're all amazing. Let's reach the arms high. Mm, get yourself right on that laser beam, straight up and down, and then pick up your right heel, pivot open. Staying straight and tall, you can stay with this ankle tree or calf. If your foot can find its way to the inner side, the groin, great. Get even taller here, friends, on the beam. Mm. Open the arms, extend the leg, and let's tilt. Little wobble, little wobble. Come back to center. Bring your hands to your heart. Ooh, regroup. How's that feel? Circle the arms up. Come back to heart. Do that again a few times. Arms circled. Add maybe a little knee bend. I stand tall, body full and present in all of its beauty. I open my arms wide to bring all of life into my being. This time, exhale forward, fold. Inhale to a half lift. And come back into downward facing dog. Final option to take a vinyasa. And we're all going to meet in child's pose. Give yourself a moment here to just exhale. Find a steady, rhythmic, even breath. I am restored and nourished. I feel my breath, my bones, my flesh. Coming forward onto our belly, my friends, we're moving into Shalabhasana or locust pose. So for locust, we want our arms at our sides. Again, this is Samastiti, big toes touch, heels slightly apart. And then we'll raise the torso, we'll raise the arms. Hug your shoulder blades together, palms down. You can stay like this, or you can lift your toes. Locust is a very strong and active posture, strengthening the back of the body. Strong self-love. Lift a little higher if you can. And on the exhale, lower one cheek to the ground and wiggle out your hips. 
Let yourself sigh. And coming back to center again. So we'll just repeat locust, or if you prefer, bend your knees and find bow pose. Grabbing the ankles, kicking the feet into the hands. Find your strong back and breathe. Powerful pose. Restored and nourished. Release, take the opposite cheek to the floor and wiggle out your hips. Oh. Let's bring our hands to our shoulders, pressing up and back into child's pose. Nice little U-turn for the spine. Just coming up to tabletop and rising up onto our shin bones for camel. So if you want to pat up under your knees, you can. I invite us all to start camel, a gentle camel. So just hands on the glutes, belly forward, hips forward, chest forward, shoulders and arms back. Just take a moment here before we dive into the deepest expression. Just know that camel is it's a vulnerable posture. Some teachers say that backbending represents a fear of looking backwards and a fear of opening ourselves to what's in front of us. So before we go any further, can you breathe in? a breath of safety and protection, present here and now, heart open in this safe space. And then if you like, tuck your toes, reach your arms back and find camel, a bigger version, but same thing, hips forward, arms back. Breathe into the fullness of your camel pose. Backbending poses can bring up anxiousness, rapid heartbeat, and create a little nervous system uptick. So as we exhale, we're just gonna slowly come to a seat legs out in front of us and do the exact opposite, a very slow forward fold. Chin to chest, head toward the toes. Forward folds create a feeling of safety. They're downward regulating for the nervous system. so much that they can even be contraindicated to someone that's struggling with deep depression. For those folks, those back bends are medicine. But when you put them both together, a big back bend and a big forward fold, we end up with balance. Let's bring ourselves up to a straight spine. And let's find a nice little hip opener, cradle the baby. So I'm gonna face you for this one. Uh, we're just gonna bend one knee into the chest, turn the leg sideways, and you can hold your ankle and your knee. Flex this foot to protect the knee. You can also use your elbows. So whatever feels like a nice cradle. And then we're just going to rock side to side. A 
if you want, you can put your hand on the floor and lean way into that glute and give yourself a nice deep hip massage. I feel my breath, my bones and my flesh. As we complete this, just extend that leg, set it down nice and easy and switch. Opposite side, hands, elbows or one of each. And just start with a little bit of side to side movement. Nice. Sit tall and then if it feels good to you, go ahead and just roll out that hip. Imagine having a tennis ball under there, just getting those deep rotator muscles. And then bring the soles of your feet together, come into butterfly pose. Sit tall with a straight spine, tuck the fingers underneath. We're gonna lift up through a straighter spine, crown of the head up, and we're just gonna bounce the knees. Like a butterfly. Keep breathing in that rhythmic way. So you can either stay here, bouncing and flying, flapping your wings. Another option is a little gentle pressure on the inner knees. Or you're welcome to fold your body forward over your legs. Check in, see what feels best to your body. Let's bring our knees together. Taking a couple of breaths in boat pose so that we take some heat to the floor with us. You can bend your knees or straighten your legs, your choice, your boat, your way. Waistband lifts up off the floor. Nice. Just gonna do one more back bend and one more forward fold, and then we're on our way to rest. So grab the backs of your knees, plant your feet, fingertips facing forward behind you, and then lift into reverse tabletop. That same feeling as you did in camel, hips lifting, arms behind you, breath, bones, body. And then as we release, take your feet out wide into a straddle and one more forward fold. Let your chin come to your chest. Let your head reach forward. And let gravity calm your nervous system. Let's come back up to upright, bring the feet together and roll down onto your back. You're gonna hug the knees into the chest, give the back a nice, easy little massage. When your body feels ready, extend your legs, extend your arms. <sighs> Let a big sigh escape your lips. Start to let gravity take over. Notice that with all of that doing, your body's probably still holding on in some places. So see if you can release. Relax your feet and your legs. Relax your torso, your shoulders and arms, your head and your face.
Take another deep, slow breath in through your nose and let a sigh come out of your mouth. In your own way, start the transition back to a seat. As we finish this practice, I invite you to bring your right hand up by your shoulder, almost as if you're swearing an oath. This is our strong hand. This is our hand of strength. And this is a mudra of protection. It's the mudra to use when you feel fear. So it's a mudra of protection. And then our left hand, our feminine hand, we're just gonna rest on our knee and let those fingers just gently drape downward a gesture of receptivity and openness and gentleness. So I wanna read the words of this poem one more time as you sit in this place of fearless receptivity. I stand tall, body full and present in all of its beauty. I open my arms wide to bring all of life into my being. As I move and bend, my heart stays open to the world. I am restored and nourished. I feel my breath, my bones, my flesh. I am whole. I am complete. I know the world with all its sorrow and pain, and I am not afraid. I know myself with all my sorrow and pain, and I am not afraid. I am light and dark. I am the inside and the outside. I am one with all. Om Shanti, which means peace. So let's bring our hands together one more time in this gesture of gratitude for all of it, all of our teachers, all of the hard and wonderful lessons, gratitude. May we walk into this day, whatever we're doing, raising kids, tending relationships, taking care of our homes, meeting people, scrolling, reading, May we open our arms wide and bring all of life into our being, restored and nourished. Namaste.